I was at born in Ulm. I lived there until 1934, when my parents moved away to another little town in in uh, Württemberg, where I went to school. But then. The Nazis had come to power by then. I had to leave my school because there were only a very small percentage of Jewish children allowed in higher education schools. So I went to Stuttgart. There I joined a youth club with all Jewish people because we were not allowed to uh, be together with ordinary, normal Germans. We weren't considered normal people anymore. From there, I went to a school in Munich, or near Munich, in Bavaria, which was for young women, and from there, I went, I was accepted in Hamburg in the hospital as a practitioner to become a nurse in the Jewish hospital. And I was there for nearly a year until Kristallnacht. They smashed up all the Jewish shops and the synagogues were burned. All the men between the ages of 17 and 70 were arrested by the Nazis. In the hospital, all the doctors disappeared. They were all taken away. My grandfather had a shoe shop, and all the shoes and everything was thrown out on the pavement. So I thought I had to do something. So I took all the light bulbs out. Well, there weren't many. So, so they fell down the spiral staircase. Then came the time when we had to take an extra name. All women had to be called Sarah. We had to go to the Gestapo headquarters to sign the new names. And I protested. He said, you either sign your new name or you know what will happen to you. So I signed. For the first time in my life, I realized that it was time for us to emigrate. And we were considered citizens of um, third class, not even second class third class. Anybody could beat us up or do with us what they liked. Well, I always wanted to stay with my mother. I could have gone from Hamburg with a group of young people on a kinder transport. I didn't want to go. Off we went to Hamburg where we had a ticket on a boat to leave for Southampton. When we got on the boat, the purser said, here is your luggage, we can't take you, we got enough Jews on this ship. There was still a Jewish committee and they got us a transport on a small fishing ship going to Hull. So we were lucky. From Hull, we traveled to Edinburgh and to Stirling, where we started our job. My mother as cook general and me as housemaid. When you are that age, you accept things, you know. But it was hard for my mother to take orders from somebody to tell her how to do things and 
cook a little bit different than she was used to. My father died in 1935, luckily, before all this happened. He didn't think they would last long. He always said our cultured Germans won't tolerate a man like Hitler. I, for one, and so was my mother, we were very pleased to be out of danger because by then we had heard that when people just disappeared, they went to concentration camps. People were just badly treated and starved, but they weren't actually killed. But later on, after they had decided in Berlin on the final solution, and the final solution meant that all Jews should be killed. There shouldn't be any Jews left, not only in Germany, but in the whole world. I was quite a good pupil, I think. We had one teacher there and he uh, didn't like me. We went swimming early one morning and they were just um, letting the water into the swimming pool. And the teacher who was with us, the swimming teacher, said, oh, she can't jump now because the, the basin isn't full yet. But he said, oh, yes, she can. She says she can. Let her do it. I did jump, and I knocked my head at the bottom, and I passed out. That was my first experience of a, a Nazi. <laughs> I had uh, non-Jewish friends, and I went cycling with him, it was a boy. It was very dangerous to do. We could have both been arrested and it was brave of him to go out with me on a bicycle. The time, the time of the Shoah, of the Holocaust, is past, it's history, and I think we have to forgive, you know, to look at the new Germany and hope that, or Austria, and hope that it never happens again. We just should be tolerant towards other people and accept them as they are. And I think that's what we all have to learn.